Mama always said, most people don't know what an apology is. That for most people, I'm sorry is just another substitute for saying, shut up. Another way of saying, can we please just move on and forget about the shitty thing I did? But a real apology is a contract, a promise you'll do better, that you won't make the same mistake again. Mama was Catholic, born and raised, like her mama and her mama before her. Everyone messes up, she always said. Everyone sins, and that's okay. So long as you own up and apologize, so long as you make a contract with God through confession and you mean it, really mean it. We live in an age of unprecedented temptation. Everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, it's inescapable. Thanks to this, the devil's mirror. Digital adultery, grotesque fornication are only just a swipe away. And you're always alone with it. There's no accountability. The moment of weakness, and we are a servant to the digital pimp who doesn't even charge you to watch the horrors it inflicts on its victims. Teaching the young and the impressionable that virginity is a joke It's not, it's a treasure. And it's not just pornography. Social media has replaced our human connection. Our sense of community. Instead of talking to your neighbors, instead of striking up a conversation with a stranger on the street, we endlessly like and swipe. Like and swipe and like and swipe. There's a beauty to confession. It's the chance to own up, to apologize, really apologize, and make a contract with God that you'll do better. But some people never change. For some people, confession is a way to shut up their own guilt so they can carry on with their life, confident that their sins have been forgiven. <laughs> Mama's dead now. I know she's watching, and I hope she forgives me for what I'm about to do. Even though, I'm not sorry. But he, he will be. Just a moment. Finishing my prayer, have patience.
Yeah, spell, isn't it? Yes. Right. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something important. Okay. <clears throat> I know I'm new to your church, mm-hmm. but I just, I need to know that I can trust you. Of course. Whatever is said within these walls is between you, me, and God. Well, I've been having a lot of feelings about things, temptations, you may say. Okay. How old are you? I'm 20. I'm just a junior in college. Ah, a challenging time for temptations indeed. Look, there's a lot of peer pressure you're going to be pulled into, a lot of number of vices, but look, Bella, temptation is a part of life. It's what we do with those feelings that define our path. You know, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I don't have sex. Well, uh, church teaches us to seek strength through prayer and penance, redirect our energies into faith and service. It's not easy, pal, but it's a path towards grace. But what if that's not enough? Hmm. Let me try again, pal. We all struggle, but we don't let struggle defy our purpose. Your virginity is a precious treasure. Virginity is a reflection of the biblical Mary, her purity, her divine role. But wasn't Mary married to Joseph? Uh, They didn't, you know. Her situation was unique meant to support her divine mission, not a standard for all. I just think it's a little confusing, you know. And Jesus, he hung out with thieves and prostitutes. Him and Mary were pretty tight. You don't think they ever, you know, had sex? He showed him a path to grace, not a path through his bedchamber. It was about redemption, even for those most shunned by society. But insisting on virginity, don't you think it's just an old relic from the past? Back then it made sense. A woman didn't have any rights, birth control. She needed him, because otherwise she'd be screwed, right? It's more than just old rules and the reality of women's circumstances and how they were treated in most of history. It's about seeing sex as sacred, not just safe. Mm. But if it's with someone you love, Shouldn't you test the waters? 